Hello dolls, it's Michelle, this and that with Michelle, and I am coming to you today with another craft vendors market haul. So this is the vendors market, craft vendors market, virtual craft vendors market, excuse me, sorry Keisha, <laughs> the virtual craft vendors market on Keisha's Creations. I will post a link down below to her channel. Go over and subscribe. I'm telling you ladies, this is one of the best sales out there. Um, real easy to do. It's the first Friday and Saturday of every month. Sometimes it's Sunday and then it's whenever she has the time uh, during the rest of the month. But it is always the first weekend of the month on Friday and Saturday. Usually starts around 11 and yeah, um, there's no telling with Keisha. It can, <laughs> it can go, well, let me just say one night it went till 1 o'clock in the morning, and that was as long as I could make it. They were still going when I signed off. Um, so, yeah, it can get a bit cuckoo. Really good prices. You have to fill out a form if you're a first-time buyer. There's a form that you fill out that they, they post the link to it uh, during the sale. You fill out the form. And it's real easy, basically six questions, your name, your YouTube channel, and basically your address. And then you just follow along. It's real easy to bid on items. And um, yeah, you just watch for a little bit, you'll catch on, and then, you know, go ahead and join in. And you, you too can purchase a big old bag like this. <laughs> so let me show you my goodies. So the first thing um, that I'm going to pull out the bag here was this uh, package of, they're calling it, we're calling it ephemera, and it's basically uh, what to me looks to be like butterick or, uh, you know, one of those uh, patterns, uh, and it looks like it's, you know, like the front pattern uh, with the ladies for those particular outfits. That's what it looks like to me, but um, I picked this up because I thought this would be perfect um, you know, to make um, almost like paper dolls or to use them on like a, a ATC or an M, uh, Memdex or something like that. So I did pick this up and there's, they're different vendors so you never know what's going to come and what's going to go. So sometimes if you see something, you got to pick it up because it may or may not come back. So I got this sheet back there and then this half sheet. And then... Let me take out these items. Okay, everything is packaged very nicely. And you usually get a whole bunch of different bags because, again, you're, you're dealing with upwards of 13 to 14 different vendors that are selling their products at the market. So I did get these woodblock stamps. I swore I would not buy woodblock stamps anymore. <laughs> But I got this hand stamped by, and it has the little reindeer, and that's why I got it because <laughs> it's got the reindeer. I, you know, deer. I had to, and it came with these, which is the um, when autumn leaves start to fall, right? And it's got these really cute little leaves, and they're brand new. They don't look like they've ever been used, and these are by. Um, Stampendous? Yeah, these are Stampendous stamps. So I basically got it for the hand stamped buy, but I got these other three in the deal and I, they're cute too, no problem. All right. And then one of the gals um, that sells um, is a very creative lady. Her name is Angie Brown, and she made what she calls Scoopy Doos. And she always makes her own little label here, or a cover. Let me see if I can pull this off so I can show it to you out of the bag. She uh, started with yo-yos when I first started watching about four or five months ago. Maybe six months I've been watching, I don't know. Um, ow, I don't want this staple to attack me later on. Okay. So she called these Scoopy Doos. I don't know where she got these little scoops from, but she decoupaged them and put ribbons on them 
and um, called them Scoopy Doos. So this one's got like old pieces of a check from 1935, and I don't know, just little decoupage pieces. But you can use it to to scoop glitter. You can use it to scoop um, sequins mixes. You can use it in your laundry room to scoop your laundry detergent or your your um, your laundry powder or your little scented beads or whatever. But um, we all like to support Angie, and so yeah, I got that. Uh, Scoopy Doo was two dollars and seventy five cents, and I thought that was cute for that little hun. I was hoping that she would have some more, and so I think she's making more of these. They were really popular. Um, then I got this uh, package of charms. So this particular one has no way to get into it now. <laughs> Let me see. I know I always take so long to show you guys these things. Come out, come out, wherever you are, it's stuck. All right, so first we get this this made, um, handmade, looks like, feels like vellum flower. And then we got this little piece here. So it looks like a, like a pendant. And these charms like fell right through my hand. We've got a little stocking. We've got a, what is that? A flower. We've got Santa Claus. Santa Claus. We've got this nice little pearl. We've got a wreath. We've got a, like a snowflake with a diamond in the center. So these were Christmas uh, charms. And then we've got the bells. So um, I was very happy to get that. So that was like $5.75 for that set. I picked up this um, tag decoration. It's their fairy, fairy cards. You see the little, the little flower fairies on them. Whoops. So got those. I've got this bracelet, which I thought was really cool. So it's a stretchy ring. Let me put it on and show you how this works. Ta-da! Oh, I thought that was cool. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna be blinging all over the place when I do my videos, y'all. <laughs> so I got that. I don't know how much I paid for that. But I picked that up. I picked up some envelopes with journaling cards is what it says. So a lot of handmade products, um, in particular for people that are, do journals. So here's the envelope, one of them. All right, it says believe, it's got butterflies, it's magnetized, see the magnets here? And then inside you get journaling cards. Really pretty journaling cards with a shoe and a flower. I like that they were magnetized. Get that one. 
and you get this one. And look, it says sparkle. Keisha, did you do that on purpose? <laughs> There's three of them in here. This one's got these really pretty butterflies in it. Look at that. Which is appropriate for the envelope has the butterflies on it. Pretty. Snap. And then there's this one that's got this, like a stamp, and another little stamp, and a butterfly. And it doesn't want to come undone. Okay, where's the... Okay, there's no... There's no magnet in this side. Okay. So you get more of these really pretty butterfly cards. I think that's like an ATC size. I might be able to make ATCs out of those. Yay! So, got that. And I paid uh, $2.75 for those. And I'm trying to make it quick here. Um, I paid three bucks for this little, um, I don't know what you kind of want to call it. Oh, it had a name on it. Um, let me see. Did it have a name on it? Look what they called this? No, uh, but it's a, a, it's decorated and it's got like, it's a little journaling book and it's got these little die cuts in it in each of the pockets. So, and then I saw that there's fairies in here. There's like this little ticket that doesn't want to come out at the moment. I'm not going to force it right now. But there's all these um, die cuts in here. So, I thought that was neat. So, I got that. Then there's always people selling old books. So I picked up this book from uh, April of 63. <clears throat> we won't say what significance that has to me. Um, but yeah, so I picked up this. So you can see the pages are yellowed and a lot of the ladies, again, use tear them apart and they use them in their journaling. And oh, look at that. There's a, uh, like a paper doll almost. But I picked up that. Then there were these magazines. There was a ton of these from the National Audubon Society. Um, and this one is from 1955. And each one of them has these sticker pages. And they were meant to be put inside the book. Um, so some of them had them in, in the book. Some of them were not in the book yet. But the stickers, you know, the stickers are here. And these, all these flowers and bugs and trees and what have you, depending upon what one you got, um, you can use or you can tear the book apart or whatever. So I got this flowering trees and shrubs. I got that one. And then the last two items that I got were these um, decorated journals. And... I don't know why these seem bigger to me than the regular um, journal uh, composition notebooks that we were getting, um, but it's just the lined composition notebook, but they she put tabs in it, um, so there's like four tabs. So I got this one, and the paper matches the tabs, and then the other one that I got was this one ah. and this is the it's raised paper I don't know if you can tell it's kind of embossed and it's raised a little bit and it's got the butterflies and then it has a label on the front and then the paper on the back and again it's raised too I don't know if you can tell it a little so it's kind of embossed and it's sparkly. I don't know if the sparkle's coming across because I'm not seeing it on camera. And again, we've got the tabs. So I thought those were really cool. And uh, so I picked, uh, I only got two of them, but there were a lot more that were uh, sold that particular day, but I only got these two. 
Um, and I was happy to get them, but there were more that I was trying to get and I lost out. Um, it gets really, uh, it can get laggy and um, so, um, you know, she always, Keisha always says, don't give up, don't give up, keep trying, because you do eventually get in. Um, sometimes you're not fast enough to be, if there's only one of something, you're not fast enough to put in your me. Um, you know, and I just always try to think of it as it wasn't meant to be. I'm not meant to have that, and that's okay, because I could end up spending a fortune there, and I have. <laughs> so it's okay when I miss out on something, because I will get something later on down the line that I'm like, oh, I'm not going to get it, but I'm going to go ahead and put in my me, and I get it, and I'm like so excited. And um, when she's showing journals or things like that, she deliberately won't show you everything that's inside of it so that you will have the, su the surprise of uh, opening the item and seeing everything that's inside of it. So that's always fun as well. Um, I, <laughs> I ninja a journal <laughs> one time uh, during an auction. Um, I got my bid in right as the... Um, timer went off I got the final bid in and I I won the auction and she always calls that the ninja and I was like no I really wasn't trying to ninja I wasn't but my bid got in sometimes it pays to be laggy <laughs> and my bid got in and I won this wonderful journal and it was really exciting to get the journal and go through the go through the pages and look at everything and um you know see all of the things that you don't see on camera or the things that she doesn't show because she doesn't pull out everything that's in a you know in a tuck spot or in or you know a spot like that in a journal so that's really exciting and ladies there's everything that you could ever want there's laces there's stamps there's dyes there's uh there's paper there's um linens there's homemade journals there's kits to make journals there's um uh just everything everything under the sun you've seen me show about three of these now um and you can see that i always have different things so check out keisha's channel if you're not familiar and um thank you for coming by please remember to subscribe like comment and share and as always sparkle on dolls sparkle on and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.